Hello, girls and guys. This is another view, a video review of the equipment that I had bought and I'll be using for my audio hobby. This time I'll be reviewing a mini PC, uh, branded Chatteray that I got from Ali. Uh, it's uh, very small, as you can see. It's completely passive, meaning that there are no mechanic pants parts inside, no coolers, no other uh, types of moving um, things inside, just uh, mainboard, CPU, big radiator, and places for NVMe uh, hard drives and memory. So, uh, let's start with the tour of the outside. Power button, two LED diodes, one of them signifies uh, power, the second one I have no idea because they are always lit together. Uh, Type-C but actually Thunderbolt connector. Uh, then we have uh, four USB uh, 3.1 connectors. I've painted them black because uh, all of my audio equipment is black. So I didn't want to have silver elements here. Then we have uh, headphone output and microphone input. On the back of the unit we have two Wi-Fi antennas connected to internal uh, mini PC, uh, PC Express uh, Wi-Fi card. Uh, power connector, it's using uh, external brick with 19 volts. Uh, two cable network uh, connectors. Uh, as, far as, remember, as, I, as far as I remember, these are two 10 gigabit uh, connectors. Uh, another set of USB 2.0 ports and uh, display port and what's uh, really good for me and i like that uh, and that's one of the reasons i bought this particular unit is that it has two hdmi ports uh, why do i need two of them the first one will be connecting the unit to my tv the second one will be connecting the unit uh, to my cambridge audio 652 uh, 651r2 receiver uh, and my digital to analog converters will be connected here. <clears throat> so I'll be able to use this small unit uh, to listen to my two channel music, to listen to my 5.1 channel music and to use it as a movie player uh, with uh, direct uh, output uh, of video straight to TV and the other one, another one straight to uh, Alpha receiver for decoding of uh, DTS and Dolby formats. Okay, so <clears throat> One more thing, the unit comes in a very, very nice white box. Yes, I'll try to open it quickly because these types of boxes are opening always slowly, especially when I have to do this on camera. Okay, we have two compartments here. The first one is for the main unit, the second one is for a power brick. Uh, we are also receiving a set of Wi-Fi antennas, etc. <clears throat> anyway, the box is high quality. Yes, the casing is also high quality. And let's take a look inside. I'm going to pause the video and unscrew the bottom of the unit. Okay, so here we are again. To open the unit, you need to unscrew the four small Phillips screws. Then you can take the bottom bracket and you can see the mounting plate for 2.0 inch uh, hard or SSD drive. Uh, the unit comes with uh, power and uh, data cable for uh, serial uh, SATA uh, hard disk. And as you can see, we can mount two NVMe uh, hard drives. SSD drives, sorry, my bad. Uh, the first slot, actually the second slot uh, from the BIOS settings, uh, is uh, PCI Express uh, Generation 4 slot. Uh, the, this one is PCI Generation 3 or SATA, MSATA port, so you can use your old MSATA drives. Uh, this one is faster, this one is a bit slower. Uh, what's also interesting, uh, you can place two uh, alarm sticks here. Uh, I think maximum amount of memory is 64 gigs. Uh, the whole 
case is one big radiator because on the other side of the main board and uh, there is uh, Intel Core i7 1255U uh, uh, CPU and uh, the CPU has uh, 10 cores, 8 uh, power efficiency cores and uh, 2, um, 2 power cores uh, so it can run uh, 12 um, threads in total. So, in theory this one should be able to play all my uh, 4K or 8K contents and uh, playing any type of music, uh, be it DSD or FLAC files, will be a breeze. And uh, I already tested that, I've connected this uh, to my TV. Uh, one of these uh, SSD drives has already uh, operating system installed. Uh, the other one is for my data uh, collection for my music. Uh, but I'll be replacing this one with a bigger one. These both are uh, one terabyte drives, so I have two terabytes in total. Of course, they were not included uh, with uh, the mini computer. Uh, you can order a set with memory and drives, but I decided against it be uh, because I wanted to choose uh, my own uh, memory modules and uh, drives. Uh, I went with uh, very cheap uh, wall RAM uh, memory. Uh, sticks because they are they are using uh, SK Hynix memory modules and uh, these are good and uh, available uh, chips uh, and I went for very cheap uh, Chinese Kingspec and Wallram SSD NVMe NVMe drives because I wanted to check out how they are performing uh, Kingspec uh, NX series one terabyte drive is quite fast it actually um, gets the speed specified by the um, producer of the equipment. This one is slower, but this one was also dear cheap. Uh, this one is supposed to be generation free PCI, but uh, on the read speed, uh, it uh, is, uh, is able to achieve only 2.4 uh, gigabytes per second. Yes. So this one is faster, this one uh, is able to reach 3.5 and that's uh, maximum for generation 3. And uh, so, I don't need that kind of fast uh, drive here because uh, this will be uh, just a storage for my music, my videos, etc. Uh, all in all, very neat, very clean built inside. Uh, this is some kind of industrial mainboard that can be used in ATMs or other equipment like that. Uh, we have uh, connectors for external USB, additional USB ports, uh, we have traditional front panel connector, uh, we have serial, serial port connectors. Uh, unfortunately, the, this, this mini computer does not come with uh, mainboard uh, manual. Uh, yes, and that's all. Uh, okay, so let's pause the video, so I will screw the bottom. Okay, so I'm back with some final thoughts. Uh, I need to get some silicon foods uh, for the unit, so it will be uh, more... Um, I'm missing word here. Uh, it won't be transmitting uh, vibrations, uh, so that's always good. Um, what else? Why do I, why do I use uh, mini PC for my music? Uh, I usually install Windows 10 or Windows 11 uh, that I'm stripping all unnecessary drivers and services and then I'm setting up a full bar uh, with uh, bitstream correct uh, transmission streaming for my uh, digital to analog converters. Uh, why? Because I love FUBAR, I love uh, its uh, sound quality. I've tried Rune, I've tried uh, JRiver, I've tried uh, HQ Player and a couple of others, Monisha players. Uh, some of them were better. HQ player was better, but it's quite expensive. Uh, but I love the combination of sound quality, uh, UI quality, uh, readability, and uh, ability to skin FUBAR. I have two great uh, sets of skins, uh, which make uh, FUBAR uh, look just beautiful. And that's why I'm using my TV to control my music. Uh, what else? Uh, this is 12th uh, generation uh, i7 uh, processor that we're talking uh, about here and it's really fast. 
I've checked uh, with uh, CPU-Z uh, with internal build uh, simple benchmark, so really simple benchmark there, uh, to compare this to my main uh, rig that I use to play my games. Uh, my main rig, uh, main rig has uh, Core i9 uh, 11900K. So this was basically the fastest uh, chip in the line uh, of in the in the line of uh, 11th generation uh, Intel CPUs. Uh, this one is uh, ultra low power 12th generation with uh, 10 cores. So it has a higher core um, number than my uh, main rig. And what's interesting, uh, this one has a single score. Uh, ratio in benchmark in CPU Z benchmark uh, on the same level uh, as my um, 11 generation 11900K. Uh, as for multi CPU uh, benchmark result, uh, this unit has something like uh, 3800 points in uh, CPU Z, uh, while my main week has something like 6500, something like that. So it's uh, a bit more than half uh, of the uh, performance of my main rig, uh, but it's completely passive. Yes, it's passive. Uh, in uh, maybe not standby, but uh, in idle, uh, it uses something like uh, five watts of power, uh, and it's dead silent. And I like that silent when it comes to my music players. Okay, I think that's all. Um, yes, it supports Windows 11, it supports Windows 10, uh, all necessary drivers uh, you can get from uh, Intel side, uh, because uh, most of the equipment uh, is integrated with the mainboard. You can also use this as a router, you can use this as your torrent machine, etc. Yes. Uh, it'll be replacing mine, my i7 4 generation mini PC uh, that I also got from Mali three or four years ago and I was so happy with this unit for this whole time that when the time came, when the time came right now uh, I'll be replacing, uh, actually I did replace my old unit with new mini PC that's all uh, I'll try to post the link uh, to uh, offer on Ali for this one uh, for this computer uh, in the description of the video. As for the price, it was a little bit lower than uh, $300. Dollars. Yeah, something like that. Okay, if you uh, want to know anything uh, that I forgot to mention here in this review, just uh, give me a shout, ask me a question in the comment section. And have a nice day.